Please welcome Brian Cranston, everybody. Yeah, I thought we'd show one of the more humorous moments of Breaking Bad. I was going to say, yeah? there's a lot of laughs in that show. I mean, it's an intense show. There's yeah. up, there's down, there's all right. Yeah. But that, that wasn't the, that wasn't the, the funniest they, part they, of the show. But that's fine. Yeah. It fits in with the rest of what we're doing here tonight, <laughs> actually. So. so it's all right. Nice to see you with a bit of hair. Are a you little not... bit of hair yeah. going. Yes, yes. How are you? I'm all right. I'm it's, all it's right. It's four years ago since I've been on the show. Well, why the hell have you not been on in four years? It must be that restraining order. Yeah, I, I guess. Well... <laughs> So you've forgiven me now. I have indeed. All right. Yes. No, the uh, the last time you were here, though, the uh, the air conditioning wasn't working. <laughs> That's we, right. We had to open the windows so the yeah. back there. Uh... Your uh, your uh, Madame Trousseau's wax figure he has a complete wax uh, figure of himself in his dressing room, completely melted. It completely melted. Yeah. I. You, you made that up. Yeah, I, I don't have a wax figure of myself in my dressing room. I don't even have a dressing room. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, this is not one of your big-timey shows where you have Sorry. dressing rooms and wax figures. This is, look, this is what I've got. A snake cup and a dangerously damp floor. <laughs> I like it. Look at that. That that's, is good, actually. That's it? special. It is. Yeah. Especially when you drink the venom like you are now. No, that's not the venom. That's just coiled snake juice. <laughs> is that a euphemism for something? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You can have a drink out of that cup if you can want. Can I? What yeah, is, yeah. What is in here? Uh, that's probably uh, melted wax. <laughs> hey! Oh, hey! Now look what you've done on the floor! Hey! Spit tape! Do you now like someone else is going to slip did, on did that. You, did you go to drama school? Uh, yeah. Did I, you learn how to do that uh, in drama the, school? The spit tape? Yeah, yeah. From, well, you know. The show of shows is what I learned it from. Oh, right. I, Watching I, all those guys from yesteryear and... Carl Reiner and all those guys. He's great, Carl oh Reiner. He's been, on, he's been on the show many times, Carl Reiner. He's, he's a genius. Yeah, yeah. I, he came on the night. Uh, what happened the night Carl was on? Was, oh, yeah, I think that light was broken. Did you hear that? <laughs> I tell you, this is... I, I've got to be honest. This... If I wasn't making this up, no one would believe it. This is the crappiest studio in television. <laughs> My my co-star, uh, Anna Gunn, was on your show Yes, recently. she was here, yeah. And the night she was on, the lights went out in the studio. Do you remember that? I do, yeah. yeah they well, just you, you have to be up. more specific, because that happens quite a lot here, right? <laughs> and to be honest, it's kind of like, it's like doing a show in a haunted house. <laughs> Are you scared right now? <laughs> Because I'm like the... Uh... No, you know, what it is is that you power the whole studio off of uh, solar panels. And, you know, it's late, so uh, the power so it's dark. Yeah, the power runs down. down. Yeah, so... that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. Yeah, that'll, that'll take care of it. Nice yeah. job. Yeah. Hey, uh, are you frightened of ghosts? N um, scary ones. Yeah, yeah, I'm just thinking... Yeah. Well, because I was just thinking, if this was a haunted house, would you be scared? You know, would you be scared if it was a haunted house? If, or would you be like, oh, this is great. This is like Ghost Hunters on uh, TMC, I think it's... What scares me are, are uh, Austrians of the future. <laughs> That's... They're going to be... The Austrians of the future will be super-powered Austrians. Yes. With special slip powers. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Have you done a lot of drugs? No. <laughs> I don't, Did I, I, don't, answer I, don't that too fast? I don't necessarily mean tonight. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. No, I, that missed that missed me, that whole period. I don't know why. I I, I was never into drugs. Really? What, no, what, never was your, what was your thing when you were a kid? How was, what was your act of rebellion as a kid? Um I was I was nicknamed Sneaky Pete. Sneaky Pete? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. My that was from my own family. Uh, why? They, they nicknamed me Sneaky Pete because I was always looking for the shortcut. I didn't want it, you know, if I had to work, I would always get my little sister to try to do something. I'm pay her a dime, you know, and I was always trying I'm to... I'm amazed you're not in jail, Sneaky Pete. <laughs> you're a wild man. <laughs> and smoking imaginary cigarettes is the same thing. Yes. Yes. I also enjoy the imaginary yes. cigarette. All things up to a future. Yes. Perhaps. 
<laughs> Austrians of the future will smoke cigarettes which yes. are invisible. Uh, but let me turn this around because they like to hold them this way. Mm. Oh, so I like to use my invisible so cigarette holder. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Von Upsmanship, yeah. Uh, yeah. Have you ever been to Austria? I gotta stop these. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, starting yeah. to get imaginary cancer. No, you gotta... don't want to do that. <sighs> I can't believe you're gonna laugh when the word cancer. Yeah, that's that's right, amazing. No. <laughs> it's funny. It's just like Breaking Bad. It's a show about that's, a guy got cancer. Yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah, but it's it, hilarious. It, it kind of weirdly is. It's a very dark, twisted, odd show. It I'm is, very isn't fond it? of it. Yeah, I, I love it. It's, yeah. a, it's a lot of fun to do. And you got an Emmy nomination last year for that, or an Emmy, in fact. Did you get the Emmy? I can't remember. I was uh, sitting next to somebody. You, you know, I did get an Emmy, and I really highly recommend them. Have you got one? <laughs> I'm just recommending. They're quite lovely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm sure they are. I recommend getting a snake cup. <laughs> I tell you what, we're we're even because I haven't got one of those. Yeah, but they're they're a little easier to get. I can get them in Albuquerque. Yeah, get them at the Rattlesnake Museum. Museum. Actually, I, I, somebody told me today that they they were at the Rattle, uh, the Rattlesnake Museum yeah. in Albuquerque, and the guy that says he's getting through about fifty of these in a week. No Shipping kidding. Them out. Yeah, they're the big hot ticket item now. You should get a percentage of that. <laughs> you should every every night you should have a different mug, a different uh, you know novelty mug, and get a percentage of that. But well, see, now this is the kind of thinking we need around here. That's I could, great. You could be your agent. That that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Are you very wealthy? Um, extremely wealthy. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I can I can see why. Good news. I just bought the network. Your job is safe. Thank you very much indeed. Brian Cranston, everybody. We'll be right back. My first guest tonight is on a fantastic hit show. Everyone's going crazy about it. It's called Breaking Bad. It's on Sundays on the AMC. <laughs> I just went to the bathroom a little bit. <laughs> Please welcome Brian Cranston, everybody. Brian Cranston. Oh my God! I got Brian. I'm so glad you're here tonight, buddy, because this is one of the best crowds we've ever had. Unbelievable! I, 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 I want to sleep with every single one of you. I, I, wait, wait. No, I mean, may well, I tell? Well, you? I don't want to have sex. I just want to sleep. With you. Oh, you just want to cuddle? Yeah, just yeah. a cuddle. You know. Ever heard that before? No. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, pal? I'm good. Yeah. Uh, well, wait a minute. I have a little bit of a bone to pick with you. Uh, you know, Julia Roberts is my wife in this movie that I'm shooting r right now. Ah. And we have a beautiful love scene, and she is a wonderful woman, and in person, even prettier than you can imagine on screen. She is delightful, and I'm a little nervous about playing this role. Well, you know, don't mention anything disparaging about her. <laughs> and you'll be fine. I wasn't There's being disparaging about her. That's what they called the movie when it went out in China. They called it um, the I Will Marry a Prostitute to Save Money. And then I said, well, they could have called it The Teeth from the Sea. I thought that was quite funny. <laughs> I, I thought that was quite funny. I didn't, mean, I didn't mean anything really bad about Julia Roberts, well, except I probably was making fun of her teeth. <laughs> Let's find out definitively, shall we? Julia Roberts, everybody. Oh, Julia no! you right up to that point. <laughs> and now you've disappointed them. By the way, don't mention anything bad about the Nazis. I think no. what I found out is they like French movies and, they're, uh, and they, they don't like you saying anything bad about the Nazis. So I think what they are is probably a bunch of renegade Nazi sympathizers from Vichy, France. Right. <laughs> who, who love romantic comedies. Apparently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, so I'm, I'm a little apprehensive about this because, you know, in Breaking Bad, like you saw that, yeah, I look more like her father. Well, you do look, would, well, yeah. you look rough in this show, but that's, uh, and, that's and meant and to much be. older, and much yeah. older. Yeah. And so sure, I, if you want to say that. I was, <laughs> I was fishing, yeah. fishing. Um, 
Um, and so I thought, you know, uh, Tom Hanks is is writing and directing this. It's a, it's a great picture called Larry. Tom, Tom say that again. Uh, Tom Hanks. He's a young, Hanks. young, up up and coming kind of. <laughs> you, I guarantee you, you will hear of him before. Tom before Hanks. The, yeah. Tom Hanks. Hanks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and. Um, <laughs> He wrote and directed this. He's in. He's starring in it with Julia, and I play her louse of a husband. Right. And uh, and we have a love scene. Pants off. Oh yeah. <laughs> and and Part so two? so you know taking your lead, I have I have trimmed down. I have lost as much weight, and I'm going to lose like five more pounds before this love scene takes place on Monday. Don't and do that, man. You look like Kate Moss. <laughs> A man's got a bit of fat I'll on him. Like a, man, a man version of Kate Moss. Maybe, yeah, yeah. maybe Pete Moss. <laughs> that's, like a, that's like a porn name, isn't it? Hey, Pete Moss. Pete Moss. How you doing? Pete Moss in The Teeth from Under the Sea. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that one, actually. Yeah. yeah. yeah so do you get nervous about taking all your clothes off in front of Julia Roberts? I suppose I would, yeah. I, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> You you better behave yourself. Oh, come way. on, she doesn't watch this show. Sure she does. No. You know what? She she would love to. Has she been on the show before? Sure, about five times. <laughs> no, she hasn't. No. No. Well, no, she hasn't. Well, she, she's certainly not coming on now. Oh, see, no, look, this is just the kind of thing that gets me in trouble. It's an innocent remark. It was just I didn't mean it. I love Julia Roberts. Why? She's my favorite American. Isn't she? <laughs> yeah. She she is terrific and and we're having a great time. It's called Larry Crown. Put it in, in file it away and, and when see is it. it? When is it's it not going to come out. We're shooting it now. So, but my love scene with her is on Monday. Ah. And so, being a world-renowned lover of women that I know you are, yeah. I wanted to to ask you know advice. Yeah. You know what what would you do if you were having a love scene with with Julia Roberts? Well, I'd have sex with her. You'd have sex with her. See, that's what makes you the world-renowned lover of women. Yeah, yeah, that's I, uh, <laughs> no, well, let me finish. That's I would, no, wait, wait. Sorry, I didn't finish. I would have sex with her in my mind yes. before I turned up at the, to shoot ah. the thing. And by, at that point, I would have already, in my mind, been a disappointment to her. I see. I see. And then... So it <coughs> can only go up from it, there. I, I see. see. Yeah. Wait, oh! oh. We can only go up. Oh, we can only go up. You're a euphemism, man. Oh. Oh. Uh, I like uh, doing that. Yeah, do you? Yeah, 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 yeah. It tickles. Yeah, I like Rather doing tickles, doesn't oh, it? I like yeah. doing it. I like pretending that this is a squid. Uh, really? Yeah. And it's like going, <laughs> eat me, eat me. Yeah, like that, yeah. Except, here's an interesting thing. You yeah. probably, Alana, you probably want to look at this because this is a kind of therapist thing. Because, because like, he pretends it's a dangerous squid, and I pretend mine is a flirty, nice squid. <laughs> like, yours is like trying to kill you. Your, your pretend squid and my pretend squid is like, I love you, Greg. I love you. You see, that's how different we are. Being raised in America, it's, it's a, you're a boy and you're aggressive, and it's, it's, there's danger and you're fighting this right, squid. Right, right. But you're raised in Scotland, there's nothing but friendly squid as far as the <laughs> eye can see. You know, I'm I'm Scottish too. My heritage is Scottish. Yeah, yeah, Christ. I and went to school with Christians. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. yeah. I uh, there is actually a parish just outside of Edinburgh mm -hmm. called Cranston. And yeah, I, it's a and I was thing. there. Yeah. It was I, well, they didn't they didn't uh, take to me very fondly because I I walked into the the city limits of Cranston and I said, I am here. I am your king, ready to take over. <laughs> And they got upset with that. I thought it was my birthright. Well, no, what you have to do, at that point when the people of the town get upset with you, you have to subjugate them. Subjugate, subjugate. them, yes. Make them subjugate. Actually, I've got an email right. somewhere from Germany. I'm going to hand it to you. That'll help you out. This is a good uh, one. Yeah, you should talk to the guy that's this going the to the high school trip to Amsterdam. To subjugate them. To yes. subjugate them, yeah. yeah. I should have done that. But yeah, you say, I am your king, and they go, you're not our king. And you go, oh, yes, I jolly well am. And here to prove it. Ah! <laughs> yeah, you could use a tax Next squid. time I'll do that. So listen, uh, uh, we're out of time, but here's the deal. Um, you've got this uh, sex scene with Julia Roberts, or love scene as you call it. It's a love it. scene. Yeah, love yeah. scene, yeah. Yeah. 
So this love scene on yeah. Monday? On Monday. On Monday. Yeah, on Monday. Today's Wednesday, right? Today is Wednesday. Right? Today is Wednesday. So then you figure, you figure you'll be finished with this thing Monday night? Uh, yeah. You want to call in on the show? Tell us how, uh, how it Call went? in and tell us how it went. It was awesome. Oh, you just, you know, just come by? Uh, okay, come by. We'll pop in and, and yeah. I'll, say, uh, I'll say how it went. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Could I maybe bring some uh, Polaroids? Polaroids? <laughs> I thought it, Polaroids I thought it, back in the day, kids. Uh, before the iPod, the Polaroid is how yeah, you know, and then I you you amateur porn. <laughs> and then I thought you were going to say, and bring some proof yeah. that this actually happened. Bring me a tooth. <laughs> This has got to be the best audience you've ever had. And I just don't say that easily. No, I know you don't. I, occasionally I will mention to the audience how good or bad I think they are, but I think you're, you're saying during the commercial break, I did say they are the best audience we've ever had got in the history of this show, and I have never said that to a studio audience before. Yeah. I, I kind of say it every night. Oh, really? Yeah. During the commercial break, I always tell the audience they're great, even if they suck like this one. That's awesome. That's awesome. And they really believe it then. They every really time, man. Every time. They're wow. like, they're like, this makes up for not getting into the prices right. They're like, yeah. Yeah. It was the second choice, is that right? Yeah, always the second. They, well, what audiences come here, they want to get into the prices right or dance, dance, you fat bastard. And if yeah. they can't get any of them. Then they come here. Yeah, that's it. How are you doing? Your hair's all growing back. And obviously, you're not filming at the hair's moment. Hair's coming back. We finished shooting uh, epi uh, season four wow. about a month ago. So now the hair's coming back. Looks good, man, yeah. too. I was thinking of shaving all my Does it come in thicker? Uh, it, it comes in grayer. I'm, leaving, my, I, I, I'm uh, leaving mine the way it is. Yeah, I, know. Yeah, I, I, no. I can't take any more gray up. Have here. you ever had your head shaved? No. No, it's I've shaved my body, but I've never shaved my head. <laughs> Have you completely like waxed and shaved? No, I didn't wax. Wax. I shaved. I was stuck. I snowed in once in Winnipeg, Canada. I and you're just like shaved my entire body. Yeah, I just, just started everywhere. Yeah. It's it's like you yeah. were there, man. It's like, it's like Duncan. No, in. no, 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 not like that. I used. I used an electric razor anyway. Oh, really? like, oh no, no, that would be, that could dangerous. be dangerous. Yeah, I'd be awful. Yeah, but was, exciting. Yeah, exciting, dangerous. All the things that I look for in a shave. <laughs> <laughs> How are things? That, are you enjoying shooting in the? It's Albuquerque. You Albuquerque, oh. the, yeah. which is where the Rattlesnake Museum yeah, where is I go located. This, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. You gotta see it. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, city. It, it allows us to really shoot it well. I mean, we see the the deep reds in the rocks and the blues in the sky. The hell. Man. I know. <laughs> I've been to Albuquerque. It's not a bad town, but you're really laying it on a bit thick, to be honest. I have you a contract any? with the uh, tourism board. Ah, I see. Know. You bought any turquoise while you were there? I, I got a lot of turquoise. Did you really? Yeah, I like turquoise e-rings, bracelets. Yeah. yeah. You have a little toe rings and things. Yeah, yeah. No, you can't see them through the hair, but they're there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. No. You never bought any turquoise? No, I'm not a turquoise. I'm not really a, 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 a bangle kind of bobble kind of guy. You don't wear any jewelry at all? I wear a wedding ring. Okay, that's, it's, not, it's that's not jewelry, man. It's, yeah. That's just a stunk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thunk taken. Yeah. yeah. I know, it is. No, you guys have been together a long time now, though. Uh, oh, 22 years now. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Congratulations. They're in the they're in, in the dressing room backstage. Really? Yeah, because you take them to Albuquerque with you. And when uh, you say them, you? you're not married to two women. You're talking about a wife and your child. No, that's a, the the secret to a happy marriage is to have a wife, an active, <laughs> loving wife, and then a girlfriend on the side to be able. To... <laughs> we no, look forward to no. your letter. <laughs> no, no, uh, yeah, my wife, my daughter, my niece, they're all backstage. You, you take your niece around with you? Yeah, she's visiting from New York. and we're You ever been to New York? Oh, yeah, I used to live in New York. <laughs> you really? Yeah. I see you get around New York, Albuquerque, where else? What's next? <laughs> Compton. Compton? Yeah. 
No. We travel. No. Where are you, but you live here in L.A. most I of the time. I was born and raised out here. Really? Where are you? Yeah. Did, yeah. Is that, was that a disappointment to your family then, that you went into the, the, the business of the town? No, because my, my dad was an actor. Right, right. Yeah, and, and he was, uh, you know, he lived that typical actor's life where you have a job and then you don't have a job for two weeks or two years or whatever. You're not, it's it's really not like just actors that are like that now. Yeah. Everybody's like that now. Uh, yeah. Do you ever act anymore? Mm, yeah, when I pretend to like the audience. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, no, I do, no, not really. I but don't you really did, have time. You I did the voiceover work. Do the voiceover thing is fine. You ever do that? I'm. I did. Uh, just voiced uh, Batman. You're Batman. The series. No, I'm not. I'm. I'm Commissioner Gordon, but I'm not doing it with an Irish accent, by the way. Well, I don't know if America's ready for this. Well, it's ready. It's going to be at Comic Con, by the way. Are you going to Comic Con? I'm going to Comic Con. Well, congratulations. Look yeah. at you. That's awesome. Now, are you going to have a? Are you going to have a booth? You have no. a booth. You have a booth, and, the, and and people come up dressed as Princess Leia. Some of them are women, and you sign things for them. No, what I'm going to do is uh, we're on a panel. I'm also do, uh, shooting the the remake of Total Recall, which is really cool. Are you really? Colin Farrell and and Kate Beckinsale. So Colin Farrell's doing the Arnie. Yeah, yeah. We have an actor this time doing. Yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're I, that. Oh, you're, what the hell? You're defending you guys? Arnold. Was that? Yeah. yeah. What are you talking about? The guy destroyed California on his own marriage and you're ooing him? What's that coming to go? Uh, yeah. They're very pro-baby out of wedlock. Yeah. You know, I guess. Yeah. Screw you, Cranston, yeah. in your 22-year yeah. marriage. Yeah. Yeah. Who the hell do you think you are coming on here saying bad <laughs> things about that maniac? <laughs> Come on! Yeah, it's all right. So, you, you uh, I didn't know there was going to be a remake of Total Recall. I'm yeah. kind of freaked out. I just know about this now. Yes, it's it's really cool, too. So, who are you in it, then? I'm Cohagen. I'm the bad guy. Oh, gosh, that's a good idea. Yeah. 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 yeah I think you do a very good bad guy. You know, I mean, you were doing a lot of funny stuff for a long time, but yeah. the Breaking Bad thing, because you're kind of crazy in that. You're crazy in the Breaking well, Bad. Well, you know, Breaking Bad is the, is the role of my life. It really is. It, I've never seen or heard a show before go taking a character who is basically good and turning him into a really bad person yeah. at the end of this series. It's a little bit like, you, you, it's uh, it's a Raskolnikovian, I think of when I think of that character. Yeah, it's so long, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do this with you. Oh, how true. Yeah. Raskolnikovian, how's that? Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. I have no idea what I just said, but there. it's good. Um, did you just... I did. I, I you you. Uh, that's quite good. See, that's what um, makes you a proper actor. Sorry. I'm just like, oh yeah. Look at you. You're continuing with it. You're yeah, right. the invisible ash <laughs> off the table. I will get the invisible security guard to come and get you because oh, the, oh, there's no easy, invisible smoking. Easy, easy. Did you ever smoke? Uh, I smoke. I you know I kind of fooled around with it when I was in in college. I'm not talking and, marijuana, dude. No, I'm no, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm in, a, I'm in a film that comes out in September called Drive, which is a really cool movie with Ryan Gosling and uh, Carey Mulligan and myself and, and Albert Brooks. And in it, I play a character who smokes. And during the time we're shooting this, I'm smoking, and then I start to become a smoker. Even when we're not shooting, I pull one out, hey. and I start smoking, and then it starts make, making me crazy. Yeah. You know, I start vibrating like this, and I don't know what they, to do. That's not tobacco we're talking about. No, no. Uh, that's, that's crack you're smoking right there. <laughs> Do you ever take? Did you ever take the crystal meth for research? Uh, Strictly for research. Strictly for research. I never enjoyed it. I don't. I don't think anyone enjoys crystal meth. You, no. Just look at them. They don't look like they're having a good time at all. No, not at it's all. It's like they're trying to achieve the look that uh, Crohn's got by sitting next to the guillotine at the French Revolution. <laughs> that kind of no teeth crazy. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. right. That's what happens when people on crystal meth. They yeah, just they go do. completely... Ah! They go crazy. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a, it's, a, it's a horrible drug. A terrible drug. Incredibly addictive. And yeah. you, you get what's called meth mouth, which made all your teeth just start dropping out because it's... Yeah. Yeah, you start looking like a thin British dude. Yes. Yeah. I know. I know. That's not good. No, not Kate Moss is coming around your ass. You're very attractive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, it's true. Did you did you learn about it when you were researching the role? Did you learn about how to make it and stuff? Yeah, like that? we learned we learned how to make it. We had DEA chemists who were our, our consultants on the show, and yeah. they taught us step by step of how to make crystal meth. Whoa! Yeah. So if the acting thing falls through, we have an opportunity. <laughs> I'll set you up later. No, 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 
no, that's all right. You don't want to. You don't want to. That's dangerous. I mean, no, I know, I know, I know. It's it's not to be fooled. With but that. it blows up, doesn't it? When they're making it, that what happened in meth labs, they explode. It's extremely volatile, and you have to know exactly what you're doing. And of course, that precludes me from doing. Yeah, it. no, I would not. I, I, I have no idea. You know, science and work. Oh, I know. I know. No, no, no. no. So, Comic-Con then, I'm a bit jealous. Really. Are you? Yeah, yeah, I wanted to go. I wanted to go last year, too. I couldn't go, I can't go this year. Why can't you come down uh, Friday night or something like that? Well, um, because I've got a live show at, uh, at, after <laughs> some... <laughs> I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna walk the hallway, and I'm gonna wear a mask so I'm not recognized. Yeah, everybody will be wearing a mask. I know exactly. Yeah, yeah. So what, you what, won't what mask stopped. are you gonna be wearing? I'm gonna be wearing. I'm gonna be wearing the Craig Ferguson mask. So uh, wait, wait, be on wait, the lookout for that. That's a scary looking that's mask. Scary. Uh, you gonna make it yourself? <laughs> are you? Oh, I've been working on it for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, we're out of time here, Brian. Do you, uh, 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 oh. Um, there's something for you. Well, yeah, All right, Breaking uh, Bad. The, uh, Breaking that? Bad, Sunday nights on the, AMC. Yeah, it's, that's the third season, but you're, just, you're starting the fourth season. That's the third season, yeah, we have And, and Colin Farrell's in this, too. Colin Farrell. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's, a, that's a nice yeah. compliment. Yeah. I always thought that this character was going to die from the first season. He was supposed to I die. I can't believe he's still there. He was uh, Aaron Paul's character, yeah. Jesse, was supposed to die in like the third or fourth episode. That's what I thought. I always yeah. thought he was going to die. I always keep watching him. But when's that kid going to die? He's still there. Still there? Yeah. 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 Good for him. Good for All right. Him. Uh, so, uh, mouth organ, awkward pause, or touch my glittery ball. Please don't choose glittery ball because I really don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I know. I know. Well, how about uh, uh, mouth organ? Sure. Uh, can you play? Not really. Okay. <laughs> By not really, do you mean you can play and you're being modest, no, or you no. really genuinely can I, I actually was in a play when I was uh, uh, very young. I was in my 20s, and I asked me to, to play the harmonica on stage live and, and, and do happy birthday to you. I never, ever got through with it. No, 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 no. and that's good, because don't yeah. play it now, because if you play that song, we're out of money. No. That song, <laughs> I know. You can't play that song. That's, that's why right. whenever you see a movie, people are always singing, happy birthday, John, and all that kind yeah. of stuff. You can't sing that song because the person who owns it is like a million dollars. Two women, two sisters who own that and they, they make a fortune on the residuals of happy, happy birthday, birthday yeah. to you, but we're not going to sing it. Well, maybe let's, no, let's no, no. play a different version. Okay. Are right, you ready? Uh -huh. Happy birthday <laughs> to you, Kenny Loggins. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Brian Christ and everybody When you're not here, we dance. <laughs> Don't we, Jeff? We dance for our pleasure. We dance. <laughs> well, I was, I was doing creepy English guy. You were doing creepy German guy? Yeah, just mixing it up. All right, just that's fine. So, creepy English guy, creepy German guy. Yeah, we could be hanging Okay, out. then. When you're not here, <laughs> we dance. We dance for your pleasure. My first guest tonight is an Emmy-winning actor. Frankly, he could do better than being in this dump, but he's here anyway. His latest film, Argo, is in theatres now. Take a look at this. <laughs> Brian Cranston, everybody! Brian Crazy wow, did you crowd? hear that you crowd go crazy for you? It went crazy. Well, I remember when you were on Malcolm in the Middle, I used to Nothing. introduce you, they'd be like, ah, uh, where's Malcolm? You do one creased out crack guy in his underpants Whoa. shooting that, and people go crazy. That's why, because I gave each one of them a sample of my product. Ah. They found underneath the seat, you know. It's that, just a, that show is bananas. Isn't it's it? Gone, it's going nuts, man. Everybody's crazy. It's that show in Homeland. These are the two shows on TV. That's it. What's your favorite, though? Oh, your show, Thank obviously. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah. <laughs> no pants. 
pandering there. No, I pander all the time. All the time. I'm pandering right now. That's you amazing. just can't see it. I can't feel it. No, either. you can. Think. Oh, maybe a little. Yeah, man. Do you, uh, have you, oh, you must have a lot of money now. You got a lot of money? Oh, <laughs> that's so much dough. I bought your old studio. Dude, dude. No, that's not what you should buy. No. Buy something cool, a motorbike, a car, something. No, no, I had to give up motorbiking. You did too, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I had a bad yeah. accident. Yeah. Well, was, when I say it was a bad accident, a, a, a tough guy would have said, it was just an accident. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, it was bad. No, you got to tell that story. Yeah, I laid it down. Yeah, yeah, laid it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah I laid it down. I saved a saved little baby yeah, was on a, the way. There, there was a baby on a... <laughs> That's exactly what happened to me, too. Here you go, ma'am. Yeah, there was a baby sitting in the tree yeah. at the side of the road. I snatched the baby, laid down the bike, and saved my country. Saved the country. Yeah. <laughs> what happened to You're your accident beautiful you have then? I didn't have an accident. Um, hey, hang on a second. You got a little collar. Do I have a little, yeah, your collar. A little just, collar. It was up. pointing up, yeah. Oh, looked a, looked it was, a little bit It was weird. erect, my collar. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> your collar excited looked to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was pandering. <laughs> yeah, it was. So what I, happened? I did actually once uh, lay down a motorcycle in Daytona Beach, Florida. It started raining, and I'm trying to get home and trying to get home, and then I see a uh, railroad crossing. Ding, 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 ding. Holy crackers, down. it's a movie. And, I, and yeah. I did. I hit it too hard. I hit the brakes too hard, and down I went. Ooh. I slid right underneath the crossings and onto the tracks. I'm not kidding. And I, I went, whoop. And I looked, here comes the train. I picked up my motorcycle and pulled it back and no 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 and I was like <laughs> It was frightening. I just crapped my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like You're pandering again too. You want me to crap my pants along with you, don't you? <laughs> Only if you feel like it. I don't know if I would have got on a bike after that. That was scary, scary on mine. I, I just fell off. Well, what are you going to do with all this money then? You going to buy a plane? Get a plane. That's cool. No, no. You are you still flying? Nah, I had a little plane, but I got frightened of that too. <laughs> See, and now I just stay home. As we get older, we we start dropping uh, everything. Out. Well, because you're playing We're, the odds now, man. Like yeah. I'm 50 years old, and the things that should have killed me didn't yet. It didn't yet. Like, oh. <laughs> Something might catch it's up. So, it's got to be one. It's yeah. got to be something. something. So I'm like, gonna I'm happen. just going to, I'm going to stay home. Yeah. Earthquake. You know, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's bad. No, no, I'm, I'm too, uh, old. you know, I was raised poor, which is really strange because my parents were rich. <laughs> <laughs> I never figured that one out. Uh, yeah, they were just trying to do right by you. Yeah. yeah. They were trying to teach me some Let's lessons. raise the kid poor. Teach yeah. him value. That's the way to go. Yeah, yeah. The rest of my brothers and sisters were, oh, let's go visit the poor one. Yeah. <laughs> Can we have the poor one clean our <laughs> chimney? <laughs> Did you, have, you you were raised poor then? Really, honestly poor? Did you have jobs before you were an actor? Were you a chimney sweep or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, I had a, you know, we, I, when, I, I, when, my, when I was 12, my parents divorced, and it was a bad time, and, we, and my brother it's never and a I, good time when people get divorced. Never a good yeah, time. It's hard. And we were sent off to live with our, grandpa my, our grandparents, and uh, he had a little gentleman's farm, and we had a little You charge. can farm gentlemen? Yeah, you can farm. <laughs> It's yeah, what are you making it up, man? Oh, I own a few of those. Yeah. <laughs> You know, sometimes they would grow larger than others, but uh, all right, yeah. Sometimes they well, if they're excited, if, if they're example, excited, yeah. yeah. And you know, we had chores to do. Right next to us was an egg ranch, and uh, we would get our we were eggs, and we worked on this egg ranch, and then we and then our grandfather was a German descent, real tough guy. Does he and talk like this? He talks like this. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Let me show you what the hell we do here. You know, he's like that guy, and you're like Arnold was Schwarzenegger was your grand. And then uh, he impregnated the maid <laughs> and all these things. Uh, no, so he was like, he wanted to teach us a life lesson, so we were going to slaughter chickens. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. You still hear the chickens? Oh, I still hear you. Uh, yeah, yeah they're, they're screaming. Yeah. And so there's a block and there's a hatchet and he chops the head off and he holds it and, and it's shaking and, he's, and the blood is going into the blood bucket. And then once that's done, he tosses it into the big bucket. You're a dark, dark dude. Oh, God. Yeah. I'm, now, I'm 12 and I'm looking at this and I'm frightened. Yeah, of course. And then and he does about eight or 10 and then he gives it to my brother and my brother who's 14 has to do it. And he's got the chicken, he's shaking, I could see him. On the, on the chopping block, and he goes like this, and he turns his head, 
and it goes right into the comb of the chicken. Let's it go in the in the chicken <laughs> like this. You're a die. I'm not advocating this at all. My grandfather. What the hell are you doing there? Let me show you. Uh, and it goes like this to me, and I go. I take it and I go, okay, first, take the chicken by the legs, make sure the wings are down, and then transfer it so you have it in one hand, pick up the hatchet, by God, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, boom, I did it. Oh. The head goes plop, and then I, I put the, the chicken over the blood bucket, and I think, oh, I got to put down the hatchet, and as I'm thinking of where I'm putting down the hatchet, the wings from the chicken got loose from my hand, and I dipped it down too far into the blood bucket, oh. and now it's like... I look like Carrie. It was like, and I'm like, and I dropped the chicken, the bloody chickens running all over the yard. My grandfather, what the hell are you doing there? Well, that's, that's hilarious. <laughs> now, can you have, you have very uh, humble beginnings. I mean, you yeah, I never, I never, don't say fruits. A chicken, though. <laughs> but, 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 what? Actually, no, that's not entirely true. I did. I think I emotionally abused the chicken once. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> but you must have. What jobs did you have as a kid uh, growing up in Scotland? Well, we'll find that out after the break, Brian. <laughs> what a tease. Yeah. yeah. And now, an excerpt from Arnold Schwarzenegger's autobiography. It was in May of 2011 when Maria first confronted me about my illegitimate son. I couldn't really deny it. He was three years old and bench pressing the babysitter. <laughs> he was. You know. And those, Brian, were the jobs that I had as a young man. Yeah. I'm so sorry for nah, you. That's all right. Don't worry. At least the chicken's got away in yes. my story. <laughs> so what the hell, man? You doing good? This movie good then, is it? Oh, Argo is fantastic. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things. I haven't seen it yet, but I've, uh, I've heard a lot of good things about yeah, it. Yeah, it's really terrific. It's, it's, um, it's uh, directed by Ben Affleck. I've heard of him, yep, yep. Yeah, have you heard of him? Yeah. A young, upcoming actor. I think He's got a beard right now, hasn't he? He, does, he used to. Yeah, that's a good move. Now it's, now it's just stubble. It looks like uh, it's that see, masculine, that's, that's, manly yeah, stubble like, thing. Ah, i got to go over here. Yeah, man. that's right. <laughs> Give him that look. Yeah. But it's a really terrific story. Uh, it, six Americans were smuggled out of the country of Iran uh, back in 1980 by the Canadian government. Wow. And that's all we heard at the time. Now, you fast forward to the end of the Clinton administration. He declassifies the files. Right. And the truth is, the story of Argo is that it was a CIA operation from the very beginning. Ben Affleck plays Tony Mendez, a real CIA officer. He goes over to Iran with six smuggled in uh, Canadian passports and talks to these six and convinces them to act as if they are film crew members on a scout for a motion picture. And they're scouting in Iran. And then the following day, he's going to smuggle them out. It's true. Wow. This really happened. And, and, and chickens, uh, no chickens? No, or, chickens, uh, no chickens at ever. all in the story. Right, not, uh, that's not good because, you know, I'm, I worry, you know, I, I worry about your chicken hatred. Oh, no, no. Uh. No, I've, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm repenting now. You good. Know, I have a lot good. of... Hey, listen, we're out of time. You want a piece of fruit? Let's do the fruit. Yeah, yeah. A piece of fruit. Or you can do an awkward pause or something if you want. I, I mean, whatever uh, you want. Let's do fruit. Fruit's uh, a fruit-based awkward uh, pause? Fruit, a fruit-based awkward pause. <laughs> Combine it. Yeah, I think we can probably do that. Oh my God! All right, so uh, choose a piece of fruit and then we'll awkward pause. Oh, about this it. is this is uh, quite yummy. This one, this is a uh, this is a, a dragon fruit. It looks like. Remember that? Uh, the I've already started the pause. Oh, you, so oh. you know. Wow. <laughs> Do you know what I have to say? I'm just looking at Brian uh, on the cover of this thing. He, he looks very frightening. He turned and it around. What? 
There we go. <laughs> That's Brian looking frightening. He was quite frightening. He was quite a strong dude as well, like when he had to do stuff and he, was, he had a firm grip. But it worked for the story. Well, he, he's, uh, he was uh, Malcolm's dad and Malcolm in the middle. <laughs> No. And then Breaking Bad. Yeah, Breaking Bad. Yeah, break did you watch that? I did. I had to stop watching it when I was working with him, though, because it would have been a bit, you know, a conflict of interest. That's a great show. It's That's a great a show. really good show, and he looks good in underpants. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He takes care of himself. He runs a lot. We does ran. He? We'd run together. Do you run? Every now and then. Only with Brian Cranston? Only with Brian. Only if Brian's down there in the gym sweating. 